hello guys um welcome back to my channel welcome back to my youtube video my name is dema cynthia if today is your first time of seeing me but welcome please don't forget to subscribe okay so yeah today i'm going to be doing the updated version of things you should know before coming to ukraine i've done something like that for been a while so i want to do updated version of it so if you're interested in knowing all these things like things you should know before like coming to study in ukraine before coming to ukraine um you should sit back relax just grab your popcorn because it's gonna be fun so let's get into the video <music> Some people don't know some people actually know but they don't know the density of it do you understand so i want to start talking with from i want to start with um the what season the first season of the year you should call it winter winter is always the first season of the year because it starts from december january february okay three months so in these three months it's very cold Winter is the, the coldest of it all. So some people don't know the gravity of this cold when we say it's cold. Because some of us are coming from the hot country, for example, Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian, okay? When you here for March, I'll be seven years in this country, so I'm in my final year. So I should. When I tell you about this, I've already experienced it all. It. I've experienced all of it. So, that is why I'm telling you I know it. I don't know it all, but at least I know something. Okay, so when I talk about seasons, I talked about winter. Winter is very cold. If it's your first time coming to Ukraine, I will advise, and you're coming during the period of um, Christmas, um, last January, um, December, January, February. If you're coming during these three months, we're Cloth. because you're coming from a hot country so it's very cold here i really don't want this video to be too long so maybe we'll do part one and part two or i'll be fast with it so wear a lot of clothes you can make it three or four i'm serious because it's very cold it's minus sometimes minus 16 minus 18 minus 10 minus 4 you know what is minus it's a lot freezing point is zero and it has passed zero so it's very very cold so you should cover yourself very well don't think it's that hamatan cold it's not hamatan cold it's a very serious cold so after winter we have got um after winter is spring yeah spring is it's not that cold but it's cold even for somebody that is coming from a hot country to this place i i'm telling you i'm um, spring is not that hot it's not hot it's it's just somewhere in between but if, if, if you're coming from another country you should wear a jacket okay wear with a jacket and sweater i think so but when i was i came march during that march period so it was cold for me i'm talking with experience it was cold for me so you might feel cold if you don't like cold like cold You'll be very cold that's number that's for um spring for um autumn after spring we get over, no after spring is summer okay summer is hot so it's hot but some people can find it a little bit cold but it's hot so after that we've got um autumn autumn is it can be cold it can be hot it can be it can rain it can 
snow, anything can happen during autumn. Okay, so if you're coming, and autumn is from I think um, September, October, November. Yes, for September, October, November three. Sorry, so be careful. Then you can also dress. <clears throat> then my second um, point is do your research. Okay, any country you're going to, always do your research. You know one thing about us, most of us, some of us do research, okay, but most of us, especially me, I'm talking like mostly about myself, I do research but not that deep, not that into to like, I'll just do shallow research about the country I'm going to. So do your research very, very well. If you do research, um, what your research must not be Google or something, you might want to watch YouTube, check out people's opinion on something. Do you understand? Like, research very well. And um, number three is ask people questions, okay? Before you come to the country, start asking questions. Go to people's YouTube, comment, ask questions. You see most people's email, email them, asking them about the um studying in that country or the weather or anything you want to know because this country doesn't speak english so it's better you find um you ask questions okay ask questions the four is heating system as we are talking about uh, winter that's where we enter into heating system here it's cold okay and if you're staying in the hostel um, they don't allow heater, they don't allow like extra heater. There is this heater I use, I would have shown here, but it's kind of far from me. So, heater, there is portable heater, the one you can carry around. It's not allowed in the hostel, but you have to, most of us, not go in, you know, you cannot die of cold. So, it's very good, but if you're staying in an apartment, nobody cares, it's your money. So, during winter, we tend to use a lot of money because. Your heater is always on. It's very cold. Okay, so that's it. Um, foods and culture. Food. Just know that they have their own food. I wouldn't really say they have a lot of foods here. Um, from my own experience, um, they don't really have that food. Food. It's mostly of um, meats and uh, what's it called? Mashed potatoes, broth. That's their soup. And so forth and so on but you wouldn't really see african foods here which is you know the food you usually use eat in your country the only food you can see here that is african related like what you know is rice spaghetti macaroni um irish potatoes um, where are they beans but their beans is kind of different okay so that's it that's what you can see here but their beans is quite different from our beans so it's different culture their culture is quite different but you can actually learn this from when you come from here culture way of living yeah when you come they don't speak english obviously so they have their own culture i mean some of them are helpful some of if, if you see a nice ukrainian he he or she is extremely nice if you see an arrogant ukrainian the same way yeah so that's what i have to say making friends so when you come to ukraine it's good that you make friends okay if it's possible that they come and you see somebody i think it's better you talk talk to the person because most of the time that we have it our agents are not are not from our country if you have an agent that's not from your country or africa it's always kind of quite difficult to get to them but if you have a friend i mean your friend has been here you can speak to your friend your friend can give you um information about what is going on what you really need i kept on looking at myself at myself i'm supposed to be looking at the um this the camera so yeah you get a friend that will tell you more about whatever that you want to know whatever you need a friend your friend can help you but it's mostly most of the time i mean i'm that kind of person that I hardly mingle with people so I like my comfort zone so if you find yourself in a hostel I think it's way better 
that you stay in the hostel. The reason you stay in the hostel first is because people, a lot of African students are there and it's easy for you to mingle with people, find a friend, find somebody to talk to about whatever that it is that is stressing you or worrying you. Always talk, okay? Because nobody knows what you're going through until you speak up. So you talk, you get help. So the next thing is works. Um, I've made a video talking about there is no work in Ukraine. Absolutely. There is no work in Ukraine for a foreign student. Um, they don't give you work, okay? They, they barely even give their own people work. They have no work for their people. I mean, they do, but not as much as, I don't know. So, if you're coming to Ukraine, you can learn handwork. I've said this over and over again. Handwork, like sewing, making of hair. You can actually come with things to sell, like food stores, African food stores. You can come with um, hair, different types of hair to sell. Anything that you can sell, learn handwork, like sewing. And if you can cook, fine. People tend to buy African food here. If you can, what's it called? Make hair, that's nice. People are looking for who to make their hair. So there is this work I found in Ukraine recently. So um, I think I'll make a video about that one separately, talking about it. But for now, let's focus on what you should know before coming here. So as I said, there is no work here. But yeah, the next one is hostels. Yeah, hostels. There, um, I want to talk about hostels because most of the time when you are coming to, I think I'm fast. But I just want to be fast because there's no time. <laughs> so most of the time, yeah, when we are coming to Ukraine, we tend to, um, when we are living in our country, most of the time, we tend to keep our hopes high. I mean, we tend to um, imagine, like, where, what this place is going to um, be like, you know. So I, we advise that you don't keep your hopes high because... <laughs> They're going to disappoint you, girl. When I came to Ukraine and they took me to the hostel, I was like, <laughs> I'm still waiting for where we are going to because <laughs> this is not what I was expecting at all. I was not expecting this at all at all. The hostel was bad. Forgive me, boy. It was bad. I don't know about now because I, if I think that, of course, they've been upgrading and upgrading. It wasn't the way it was when I came. But when I came... <laughs> was bad i was actually disappointed because i think i had i had my hopes too high so they brought it down for me so yeah remember when you get to hostel try to make friends talk to people about whatever it is that you think it's not right if that's your first day of coming and you enter your room because let me tell you the truth it's very good especially when you come during this period it's very cold so if you're not comfortable if you are too cold and you try to message whoever that is your agent and they're not answering you please make a move ask go and knock at somebody's door there are a lot of door ask question oh sorry sorry to disturb you but please uh, is there something i need something like this what do you think <laughs> Please do it. This life don't have duplicates, okay? Yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this updated version of things you should know before coming to Ukraine. Ukraine is cold, especially during this period. It's cold, it's snowing literally every day. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It will help me to bring more of what it looks like studying outside your country to you okay so thank you so much and have a nice day don't forget to subscribe comment and share my video because somebody out there might need this video so bye thank you see you next time love you we meet bye